Good day, Church Fellowship, and welcome to the LJCC update for one of the more interesting Thursdays we've had in a long time, February the 18th. Everybody say hi to Sam. You hadn't got to see him in a while, and welcome to our living room where we've really been blessed to uh, continue to have good heat source throughout this entire process. It has been a really crazy week, and it seems like in many ways it's been a crazy week that's capped off an entire crazy year. It was February that things really got in earnest, worried about COVID, and now we get to top it off with this. And uh, I hope that you've uh, stayed warm. I hope you've uh, found ways to you know, be together with family and to help each other and your neighbors and those kinds of things. It was just a really unique opportunity along those lines. Um, I want to, it's just kind of funny, all the weird conversations and thoughts that you had, like, uh, where did I put those long johns? We hadn't thought of that in a very, very long time. Or how old are the batteries in the flashlight? All these things that come up that when we're, when things like this are going on. So, uh, and I hope again that you're doing okay. If you're not, we want to hear about it. Again, there'll be a number on the notification that you can call uh, or text if you have some needs that you're having. I really want to thank you for the way that I hear stories of uh, the way so many of you are caring for each other and your neighbors as this process continues to move forward. I need to let you know that the elders have decided that this Sunday morning, the 21st, will be kind of a back to normal day for us. So Bible classes, worship, uh, plus, of course, Limitless Kids, Stage 2, and Praise Kids. As always, there will be the online uh, opportunities for both Bible class and worship. And, of course, if something changes in that plan, you will get a text message that will let you know about that. Speaking of our texting service that has served us so well over the last years, we're going to be making some changes. Uh, after Sunday, not before Sunday, but after Sunday, look for a text that asks you if you do not need the Sunday morning reminder of the link to uh, either the live stream worship or the Zoom Bible class. If you have already developed a habit of going to our website and picking it up, or maybe your phone or computer have already memorized it, then that link is not helping you. And we would uh, like to, to be able to set up something just a little bit different so that those who don't need that link uh, don't have to receive it. Everyone will still receive urgent notifications and, of course, your all-important LJCC update on Thursdays. It is our hope to be able to reduce some costs by kind of realigning that list and, and if you can help us in that, we can. But be sure we don't want anyone who has any kind of concerns about getting the stream to uh, not get that link. We want to keep it as simple as possible and if you have any concerns about that, then you'll want to be sure that you don't reply that you don't need uh, the, the Sunday morning notification. Continually thankful for your participation in the elder discernment and identification process, your attention to and response to the sermons, the Bible classes that we've been having, and uh, again, for those of you who are taking advantage of it, the life groups that continue to go on and are such a blessing. Again, I, I hear from life groups, but I, I'm participating in one that's just really, really been a great blessing. I'm fairly certain you know, but uh, nothing has really changed about the deadline for nomination forms. Uh, they are due this Sunday by 4 p.m., uh, so you'll want to be sure you make arrangements to do that. You can either check the website, again, right there on the home page is a link to uh, know how to get notification forms from the website and how to turn them in without being physically present. And, uh, I would be sure if you at this point were planning on mailing it and have not mailed it, I would not mail it. I would call for someone to come and pick it up or I would do it electronically in some way or another. But again, you can see that on the website. You might also just kind of quickly review the last Sunday's sermon where we had an announcement that reminded and refreshed everybody's uh, minds on the different ways that you can turn in a nomination form. We want everyone to participate if, if you are a baptized member of our congregation. So a couple of things coming up next week we want to make sure that you're aware of or in the weeks to come. First of all, this Wednesday, not 
Yes, this Wednesday, meaning uh, February the 24th, uh, is our monthly online singing. Uh, going to be a collection of Gaither songs, so those of you who enjoy those will want to be sure and tune in. And whether that's your particular preference or not, I know that you'll be blessed by joining in. You're always welcome in person, but again, it will be live streamed and you can take advantage of that. So please join in. Uh, great opportunity to sing along. We're also really excited to let you know that the Kids for Christ ministry has been looking forward to this and now they are ready to implement. Uh, so Wednesday night, Bible classes are gonna be added, again, coming up on the 24th uh, of, of, of February. So uh, you can uh, get excited about that and just be, be planning on getting a little bit more involved. There's an adult class there for any of the parents that come by, and you can also sit in on the singing in the auditorium at any time. Our music and more continues uh, for second through eighth graders uh, at, from five, starting at 5.45 and it ends right there when class would start at 6.30. Uh, it's in the auditorium. We're going to have one class for our toddlers through uh, five-year-olds and then a second class for our kindergartners through fourth grade. Miss Joanne's class for fifth and sixth grade girls has been going on and will continue forward. I want to be sure that all of our youth group parents are aware that we're coming up on deadlines for Soul Link, a great opportunity for our kids, and I really am impressed the way Peter and some of the area youth ministers have worked out the idea of having this day retreat where they'll watch virtually, uh, have different live things that go on, uh, but uh, you need to get registered. I, I realized that yesterday was the deadline to get a t-shirt, but it may be if you reach out to him today, this evening, you might still could get a t-shirt. Even if you don't get the t-shirt, it's going to be a great opportunity to be involved. It's wonderful. Uh, good things go on every year with our Soul Link experience for our youth group. We've got some birthdays we want to be sure you're aware of. First of all, on Saturday, February the 20th, both Don McGlon and Garrett Arthur have birthdays, kind of the top end of the scale and towards the bottom end of the scale, and we'll want to be sure and reach out to them and wish them a happy birthday on Saturday. On Sunday the 21st, Janine Webster is celebrating her birthday, and then Kathy Davis is celebrating a birthday on Monday, February the 22nd. Got a couple of anniversaries we want to be sure and make you aware of. Uh, first of all, Joe and Karen Phillips are celebrating their anniversary on Monday, February the 22nd. And today, happy anniversary, Mike and Ann Whitaker. We're thankful for your testimony of faithfulness to each other and the way that reflects on God's faithfulness to us and our faithfulness to Him. Again, if you want some more details on our prayer request, I'd encourage you to go back to last week's update. We simply don't have a whole lot of updates from that, and I don't want to simply take up your time repeating what I said last week. So take a look there. So let's join in prayer as we close things out today. Our Father and our God, we want to thank you for hearing our prayers wherever and whenever. We want to thank you for your steadfastness in the midst of struggles and crises that we go through. We want to thank you for the way that you uh, became maybe more of a present reality in many people's lives this week as we had to kind of hold together and, and uh, endure some things we don't usually have to endure. Father, we thank you for these birthdays and anniversaries that we're going to be celebrating uh, today, um, the Whitaker's anniversary and those that are uh, moving forward for through the next week. Father, we do thank you uh, that Austin Stevens is home and we're, we're praying that he'll get here to uh, Lake Jackson as soon as possible. We continue to celebrate with Maria Vargas's clear uh, diagnosis from her cancer and also Joanne Fellow's uh, cancer-free diagnosis that she's recently received. We want to lift these names up to you and ask for your continued uh, healing touch in their lives. We lift up Ronnie Mullins and Dave Newberry and Olaf Brerin, Carlita Mulkey, Ralph Knocken, Jack and Bernice Skinner, Shirley Kimmerling, Tina and Joe Files, Josie Miller, Jason Fagan. We lift up Pat Moss and April Lubke and D. Rambo, Candy Crest and Meg Scott and Kelly McCoy. We lift up Israel, Israel Jimenez, Ron and Nora McDaniel, Betty Stark, Paula Roper, 
Nell Brown, Helen Cole. We lift up Chelsea Miller and Allie Wade. We lift up Edna Allen, Maggie Stroman, and Carolyn Hunter. We lift up April Barton and William Hickel and Dave, Danny Bice. Father, we, we want to lift up to you our health care workers, our teachers, our first responders, all of whom are going extra measure and, and many of whom had to go extra measure this last week because of the crises, but also that are going extra measures, continue to go extra measures as COVID continues to persist. We want to lift up and ask your blessings on baby Allie Kalen and baby Lane. Father, our hearts continue to reach out to the families of David Aubrey and Sue Talbot as uh, they have passed from this life into the next. We thank you for your faithfulness in all those things, both to care for them in this next life, but also to care for the families that are left behind. Father, we lift up our President Biden and we, we pray that uh, we would, in, in every way that we can until it violates our relationship with you, that we'll support him as best we can. We want to lift him up to you in prayer. Father, thank you for warm homes. Thank you for running water. Thank you for wool socks and long underwear, things that we don't always say thank you for. We see all good things as gifts from you. May we be continually grateful. We ultimately thank you for the greatest gift of all, and that's Jesus. And it is his name that we all pray together and we all say, amen and amen. Thanks for joining me today by the fireplace. Maybe it even felt a little warmer where you are because of this. And uh, we'll be seeing you Sunday.